why do I have a YouTube channel? Here I am trying to stay relevant by having a YouTube channel. I need something really bad. Something that I'm addicted to and I want to just come out and talk about that for a second. I need coffee. We'll see you at the window. Thank you. Thank you. So you know what it is? They know me here. They hear that drink and they know that it's me. <laughs> Your favorite coffee guy right here. Uh, <laughs> he, know, he knows my order before I even do my order. It's like, you. well, you just hear my voice and you know. Yeah. So. <laughs> Thank you. A big reason why I have a YouTube channel is because I'm kind of a geek. The main thing that I put out on my YouTube channel so far are motorcycle videos, things to do with motorcycles. I love motorcycles. You would think that the main thing that I would put out is stuff to do with music, but music is my job. I love music and I love drums, but at the same time, it's kind of nice to take a break from it sometimes. And by taking a break, that means being creative in some other way. I just grab the camera and start talking to it I, I am open to doing various kinds of content. As I evolve as a person, I think that my interests and I think my channel should evolve. I know more now than I did a year ago when I started this channel about a lot of different subjects because what it's helped me do is focus on something so that I can intelligently speak about it. I, I use that term loosely. To be able to speak about something and really sort of understand it in a broader sense so that other people, number one, are interested in it, and number two, they actually have a takeaway from it. Blah, blah, blah. YouTube isn't about staying relevant or being relevant. It's about creating something relevant. It's about creating something that will inspire, something that will lift somebody from a bad place to a better place, or from a less interesting place to a more interesting place. If I can just for a minute inspire somebody enough to try something that they've never tried, then I feel like I maybe accomplished something especially if it's something that's good. I don't want to inspire somebody to, you know, jump off these rocks and hurt themselves. Unless you want to jump off rocks and hurt yourself. Eventually, I'm going to talk about my cancer story. I haven't found the strength to really do that yet. I probably will make a video eventually. It's going to be tough for me because that story is not easy to tell. I do have a little bit of, I think, post-traumatic stress because I did face death. But I got through it, so I love life. I want to inspire other people to keep on going, but I have to gather my strength to do that, and I will. I want to tell stories. I want to share interests. I want to do all these things that if I went to a television producer and said, hey, I want to do a film about motorcycles, go ride from Sturgis to Los Angeles on a new motorcycle and talk about all the things that you go through doing that, they'd say no, probably. I just don't care to wait around for somebody to do things. I have things that I want to do, and I don't want to wait for some other aspect of the world to catch up with the ideas that I want to create right now and upload it to YouTube right now. Uh, and that's what's so cool about it. obsessed with people that are obsessed with things because I'm very obsessive with things myself um, and it's not so much that I'm materialistic to a fall I just think there's a lot of neat things to do it's my drug I don't do drugs so I like to mess around with motorcycles and uh, and and jujitsu I mean I haven't even started to talk about Brazilian jiu-jitsu and what that has done for me Fifteen years ago, I had a doctor look at my back and see you got spurs, but in three to five years, you'd get an operation. That was 15, 16 years ago. 
a series essentially on uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu because you know I have been doing it a long time and I do know what I'm doing. Uh, are there people better than me? Absolutely. Uh, every day somebody um, proves himself to be better than me. If you don't like this time, there's something wrong with you. That's how I do it. So I'm going to come you back and see him. I got to come back and see him. I have a lot of surprises. It's more about wanting to share again. I'm seriously one of those people that loves to share things. He said, watch that guy. He's the Bruce Lee of the ground. Oh, yeah. So maybe Bravo. Yeah. Uh, yeah, exactly. Just to what Joey said, um, about other aspects of your life being improved, and I totally agree with that. Yeah. Your life improves while you're on the map in this arena, but it also enhances your life outside. The skills you learn, the things that you go through, it, it, it builds an outside life as well. It's fantastic. Listen, no matter how you cut it, this is an art. You're an actor, that's an art. You're a drummer, that's an art. I'm a stand up. I have considered, I could sit here with you and break down acting for Jiu Jitsu. Stand up for jiu-jitsu and drawing for jiu-jitsu. You can do it to me. You can go, I, I see what you're saying. Your back is improvised. When I'm on my back, I don't like being on my back. That's improvised. That's what the director says, improvised. You know? This is helping me become a better stand-up. A better, I understand things more. When you become a lawyer, what they make you do the first three years? Math like a motherfucker. You sit there, you're like, why am I doing math with you? I watch you on order. Because they want to teach you how to solve problems. Like it or not, I'm going to keep making YouTube videos because I really love doing it. Um, I think I've got something to say. That's a Def Leppard song in there. And when I don't, I won't post a video. I'm not going to just post content for no reason. But I like doing reviews. I like showing people things that I've discovered. Like these gorgeous rocks. Like I said before, if I can inspire people to, to do something or to try something or to get some information or just to get a laugh, whatever, um, I think that's a good thing. I think I've accomplished something. It's about telling stories for me. All right. We'll see how this thing turned out. Oh, yeah. Take care of each other and keep rock alive. Mwah.